Hey everyone, it's Hayes and it's Miraculous Monday, so it's time for another screaming session. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> and today we're doing episode 24, Representation. Although, very sadly, after I wrote down all the poor writing decisions taken in this episode, the video was going to be too long, so today we'll just be gently making fun of the episode, and I'll roast how truly bad it was <laughs> another day. So first up we have the news. God save the Queen. And as a British person, I would like all of you to know, we absolutely do not open the news this way, and if we did, I would have left the country. And I can't say I've ever seen any news on TV concerning the Paris mayoral elections, or news about two random 14-year-olds arriving in the country. No one knows. No one cares. And then Adrian says, You only love once, the first time, and it's forever. The boy is 14. Would anyone actually believe this? Actually, yeah, they probably would. <laughs> but then, oh my god, Plag, we have good cheese. I went to Marks and Spencer's and took this photo for you for this video. We have good cheese. Lancashire crumbly, Somerset brie, cheddar cured in caves. We have good cheese, okay? Calm down, calm down. And then Felix arrives. <sighs> I'm gonna go throw up because that was, um... <laughs> No. Also, what on earth? Where were you in the finale, Felix? Chilling at home on your Xbox? What was more important? Your Xbox or saving your girlfriend? You know, I don't... <laughs> Where were you? What were you doing? So then Adrian is like, right, I'm going back to Paris. And Plague, talking sense for once, is like, how are you going to explain this to Marinette? And Adrian is like, I'm going to tell her I'm Count Noir. And while I am definitely here for identity reveal, okay, I want it to happen. Like, you are rich, Adrian, if you just told Marinette you got the Star Train or the Eurostar. She'd believe that, you absolute idiot. <laughs> so despite how she's feeling, Marinette is at the Eiffel Tower for the party and she's like, Tiki, do I have to stop crying? And Tiki says, If I did, I'd use it on myself. When on earth has Tiki ever cried? I've no idea. So Marinette's like, you know, it's fine. I'll just, you know, I'll blend into the crowd. No one will notice. Like, yeah, sure, you'll blend in, Marinette, when you're the only one who changed their clothes. Sure, that's gonna work, you know, super duper well. So then we get the flashback of when Kagami found out that Marinette is Ladybug and her face just does not change. Like, I get she wasn't sure in that moment, but like, <laughs> you could tell your face that, Kagami. Felix D transforms into Adrian. Like, how many Adrian outfits do you own, Felix? This is a bit of a problem. We need to talk. Also, is it just me, or did they change Kim's voice actor? You don't look so good right now. I don't know, it sounds weird to me for the entire episode. But then, oh my god, Mr. Damocles. <laughs> Yes, sir, you're having a great time, the time of his life. But oh my god, I am not. I can't believe Marinette interrupted a kiss between my son and Tomato Boy. How dare you? Meanwhile, Gabriel Babes is shouting at the bodyguard for letting Adrian and Kagami get away, but do not shout at Maurice. He is a good boy. And then he goes upstairs and shouts at Queen Natalie like, um, no, absolutely not. I bet she could still beat Gabriel Babes up in this state. But then he is like 360 in his train of thought and just says, Marinette Dupin Chang. Mate, you are far too obsessed with these teenagers. Please take up knitting for the good of your health. And my health, my blood pressure, is not doing okay. So he akumatizes himself and oh boy, Gabriel Babes, do you know what you look like when you do this to yourself? Because it ain't good. Not good. Back at the Eiffel Tower, Marinette is running after Adrian down the steps and dear God, get the elevator, my legs would have fallen off by the time I got to the ground. But also, how did no one else see Astro Cat? He was flying so close to the ground. He arrives just in time to see the Akuma form of Gabriel and he very questionably delivers this line. Dad. Like, does Adrian say it because he's not sure if it's his dad? I have no idea. But then Adrian is just like immediately down to fight his dad. He should have been in the finale to do that. No, I won't ever shut up about it. Elsewhere, Marinette has arrived at school. Why Felix and Kagami couldn't just ask her to meet her there without upsetting Marinette in the process, I have no idea. But I also love how Felix in pretension is like senti monsters, you know, they're just the same as human children. We must nurture them and protect them. And then he decides to create a projector, which he then destroys at the end of the episode. We love the hypocrisy. And now it's time for the play, yay! Like, when did they rehearse this? As in Felix and Kagami, when did they have the time to to script this, source the costumes, the props. How did it all happen? How did it come together? I don't know. And oh God, this bit. A queen and a king were expecting a child. 
Oh my queen. I hate this. I hate it so much. How did any of the voice actors in any language record this episode without laughing? I would have been in tears. Oh god, I couldn't have handled it. Back outside, Cat Noir calls the pavement a coward. Like, what did this pavement ever do to you? Calm down, mate. Meanwhile, Marinette is actually enjoying the play. How? Why? It's questionable at best, but Felix did look great in pigtails. Still, slaying it. Although I am unsure of why Felix took the creative decision to have his dad ride a rocket at his wedding. I get he's meant to be a warlord, but it's, it's a bit weird, but okay. Back to Cat Noir, he says this. That to have a child is to help them blossom, to grow, to find themselves and to be free! And it's amazing. I love it. It would have been even better if he could have said it to Gabriel's babe's face once he found out who his dad was in the finale. Unfortunately, back to the play now. Again, another weird decision. Why are Emily and Emily's parents heckin' giants, Felix? Are you alright, hun? Although I did like this bit where Colt slowly rises up with his cowboy hat on. That did make me giggle. And I'm also desperate to see what his actual Peacock Miraculous outfit looks like. And yes, I hope it did have a cowboy hat too. I love cowboys. <laughs> back outside, Loch Resistance arrive for a smackdown with Gabriel Babes, and by smackdown, I literally mean smack. <laughs> like, who threw that? It better have been Nino because he was a legend doing this whole fight in that light up tiara. Yes, Nino. The play finally ends, what a relief, and turns out all Kagami and Felix wanted was Ladybug's help so they could date each other. All this effort for that. Just send her a cheeky text next time, you did not need to do all of this. The following morning, after her nap at school, because why not, Ladybug goes to purify the Akuma and does a virtual pound it with Cat Noir. And oh my god, I remember when Gloob released that image, okay? I was on holiday, I was on a cruise ship in Norway, trying to relax, and they did that to me? Unacceptable. How dare you! Although I do absolutely love how incongruous the end card is with the episode. Marinette attended that party for like 30 seconds and she didn't enjoy any of those seconds. Like, <laughs> why did they go with that? I have no idea. So anyway, let's take a look at the fan art for this week. The first one we have is from Elijah and this is an amazing redraw of Count One. Oh my god, I love the style of this. I think my favourite thing about it is the hair though. Oh my god. Yes, looks amazing. The next one is from Null and it's of their OC called Lilith who is using the snake miraculous and I absolutely love the design choice of the additional eyes. Amazing. Absolutely love it. And then the final pieces that I found out we have this week are from Nathars. Let's keep in the theme with the Snake Miraculous. We have two pieces of the Snake Miraculous. One is of Zoe with the Snake Miraculous and the other is Chloe with the Snake Miraculous. And oh my god, like the turquoisey green is definitely both of their colours. They both look amazing. I would love to see either of them use it in the show. So thank you very much for sending me in your fan art besties. So that was it for this week's screaming session. There will be a poll up tomorrow so you can vote for the next one. What was your favourite moment from this episode besties? I'll see you in the next one.